What a start we've got. To the field of play. We couldn't have a better start for this finals. Aaron, it's for sure one of the most anticipated ones we're going to have, and I can't wait to get started. Oh, you don't have to wait very long. Quarterfinal number one is out. Let's go down to the shooting line. On target number one, representing India, Jyoti Surakavenam. On target number two, representing Colombia, Sarah Lopez. The line judge for this matchup is Curtis Belusek. Well, Jyoti Sareka Venom number one, from you know India the girl, the got her very first ever stage win this season, plus claimed a bronze at the World Championships. On target number one, Sarah Lopez has got on an impressive two. record against Sarah Lopez, the greatest of all time, a seven-time Hyundai Archery go World this Cup champion. The wait is over. And Venom will get the 2023 finals underway. Nine. A good first arrow, a good sighter. Ten. Venom's first arrow just outside of the 10. I wonder if Sarah Lopez used that as you know, a cue for her to adjust the site perhaps just a little bit to get uh, a point ahead of her. Nine. She looks startled with that shot, uh, perhaps overcompensated. Ten. And definitely not the start you want to have against the greatest of all time, perhaps. Ten. Ten, ten, ten. Well, the perfect start for the seven-time Hyundai Archery World Cup champion for a two-point lead. Uh, for those of you new to compound archery, it's a cumulative score, three arrows per end, five ends in total, so a potential maximum of 150. But Otto, we've looked at uh, the form of the runners and the riders in this competition, uh, in the compound women's. The, the key thing about it is it's so open because everyone's had to match up to this woman here. Now, as you know, exactly, exactly. For the past decade, we've seen Sarah Lopez completely dominating the field in compound women's team. And uh, we see her with the towel on her head, definitely the weather playing a big role here. But um, Venom, she is the face of, the, uh, of India's compound success. And uh, as you said, the whole field has stepped up to, to match and try to beat Sarah Lopez. And I'm sure she's not going to have easy matches today if she's one of playing her record-breaking, what, eighth title? Yeah, going for number eight here. Well, the, you mentioned the, the weather. It's 46 degrees in the Sororan Desert city of Hermosillo. Start of the second end. Ten. So Venom looks like she's dialed into the middle. Ten. Dead seven. But this is some star for Lopez. Lopez so solid in the beginning. Uh, the first stand, at least for me, is usually the toughest one. It's like, you know, the, the nerve-wracking one. All adrenaline is high. and uh, But the Venom found the middle in her last shot in the first stand, and now she seems to be solid in it. Let's see whether Sarah Lopez will give her any opening. Ten. Dead son. Ten, 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 perfect score. Nine. 
Well, one point claimed back. Oh, there it is. And number two is on the target bases here. XX9 for Sarah Lopez. Shaft Had against Shaft there. Almost two uh, initial arrows for the Colombian archer. Quarters of for Lopez uh, in that second third, end. Rather 28 so years of age. Ranked playing world a 58 if my maths is world correct. Four, the official ranking here These two have met each other uh, four down. times in total. The head-to-head -head is Finding two apiece, but this the season they've met well twice. There yeah, uh, as you pointed out, they're even in their head-to-head -head matches, but uh, then um, she's got the, the best from Lopez this year so far. She's got two victories over Sarah Lopez, and, uh, but I'm sure the Colombian, she will want to have a say uh, about this today. Um, but um, I was really surprised with uh, Lopez's nine in her last arrow because she seemed like really solid, so many axes to begin with. And uh, while we see Venom a little bit spread what within the ten, yeah, of course, after from after those two nines, but uh, time for end number three. One point in it, Venom to shoot first in the third. Ten. Ten. I think that's him, yeah. I think caught the line. Ten. A little long hold over there, but right beside her previous arrow. I bet she's happy with that. Ten. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. Second in a row for Venom for an 88. Ten, ten, ten. And that is a perfect score. So still one point in it. Well, the, the speed of the shooting you mentioned about Venom Lopez having a slightly Columbia longer hold than the second arrow. Uh, now, it's something point, special with Lopez that she does shoot so fast, so consistently. Yeah, really, uh, I, think sure most most there, also also quick, I think most of Venom's shots were also pretty quick. I think we saw the ends advance quite quickly. But in that arrow, she had a little bit of a longer hold. But I really don't think that was an issue because I see both archers the Colombian uh, pretty archer pretty solid and, the and pretty confident in the way they're shooting the it's just their in the first end the oh, then um, she looked a bit startled after a couple of shots but uh, i didn't really Alba. see anything unusual in the way they were shooting and executing and the shots as well for Sara Lopez. well what a draw this uh, first match is uh, world cup ranking of number one for joseph sarekin venom world ranking of number two for Sara lopez third in the world cup rankings and it's certainly proven to be a high quality start. We're going to have all four of the quarterfinals in the women's competition before progressing through to uh, the winners going off in the semi finals and then the bronze and the gold medal matches. A lot of archery to pack in, and this is just the start. Venom to start in number four. Nine. Ten. Nine. I had the impression this was her fourth shot even before she released it. She can't be affording to be shooting so many nines against Sarah Lopez. Ten. No, the scoring is so high now. Remember, the maximum is 150. Four drop points already for Venom. Nine or ten. And I think that one's in as well. Ten, ten, ten. Perfect score. Three out of four perfect ends for Sara Lopez. 
Okay, this full time has been challenged in recent years. But her form here in Hermosillo in match number one is looking very good indeed. I was told that uh, judges are having venom uh, and familiarization with the target judge. A really strong with not just the heat, but the humidity. It can be very draining. It can be, can be indeed. Uh, it, it becomes not only a competition of, of skill, but also of endurance, to be honest, because uh, uh, we need to keep in mind that these archers, they arrive at the venue perhaps one, two, three hours before the, the competition starts, so that you can do all the preparation, uh, warm up, uh, practice arrows. So uh, the, the competition for sure didn't start for them just now. They've been there for some time already under this heat. It's been hotter, of course, the, as the day uh, progresses, temperatures tend to lower a little bit, but uh, for sure it's draining. Well, on the good authority that we started the competition 46 degrees Celsius. Hot. Pretty hot. Mental. So we have confirmation uh, that that was a nine for uh, Venom in her last hour at end number four. She trails now by four points. Ten. Dead center. Sarah Lopez is so comfortable. She's constantly adjusting her sight. Uh, she's got an amazing group slightly to the right, and she's been adjusting that. But uh, I think things are looking very complicated Ten. for Venom, despite, you know, she seems to have found herself in this fifth end, but I'm afraid it's too late, Karen. Ten. Ten, 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 and that is a perfect score in a perfect way uh, to tag it and to bag it for Sarah Lopez uh, of Columbia getting win number three over her, her opponent uh, in historical proportions on matchup number five. Both archers locked at two wins apiece. Now Sarah getting that third win, but more importantly, booking a spot into the semifinals.